हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माई सी चैनल एस आर्टिस्ट प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर एस वीडियोस सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज एस ए पी एसेट परचेज एंड सेल विद जी एस टी सो टुडे आई बी गोइंग टू द प्रोसेस एंड विल बी शोइंग द एग्जांपल ऑफ इट सो टुडे वील बी डूइंग द पोस्टिंग ऑफ परचेज फ्रॉम एफ एंड सेल फ्रॉम एफ बी सेवेंटी थ्रू कॉम्प्लेक्स पोस्टिंग सो फर्स्ट विल क्रिएट द एसेट जीरो वन प्लांट थ्री इज अ क्वांटिटी इज वन गिव कॉस्ट सेंटर and save as it has been created now we'll go to fb60 first we'll purchase the assets so we'll purchase it on first february just so that we can sell it at a today's date that is the reason i'm creating on 1st february select the tax and taxes so i'm going to do this in here we'll just in the tax procedure because someone else has changed the procedure out here so we'll put the vendor invoice date posting date reference okay business place section code we'll select the so to run the transaction again fb60 put the vendor as february then we will put the business place now let me put the amount 10500 okay and the rest everything you won't change anything that's it then you have to click on environment click on complex posting okay so here get a screen like this so over here below enter the asset which we want to purchase so we created one asset okay for lakh like 2 okay transaction type is 100 okay for external asset acquisition you can see that enter give the amount Ten thousand. Quantity one. Let's purchase. Do you want? You can give the plant. Okay. Enter. So you can see here all the basic information has come. Cost center, everything. Profit center. Okay. So now we have given here ten thousand so that the system can calculate the tax. Okay. So now. When you click on simulate, you can see here it's the vendor is at a credit of ten thousand five hundred, but we have given asset of ten thousand. Okay, debit. This is asset is debit, vendor is credit. Now go to simulate. You can see automatically it is getting tally. Balance is zero. To tax has been calculated and post the event document has been posted. now we'll see the document see the document has been posted okay if you want to see in normal view or general ledger view we can see okay entry view will still go for entry view see the asset has been posted okay 
if you see this gl this gl is a technical clearing account okay when you are posting through fb60 see this is a as a technically clearing okay so normally technical clearing account is debit and vendor is credit okay so normally what will happen asset will be debit and technical clearing account will be credit technical clearing will be debit and vendor will be credit so this will nullify the technical clearing account debit and credit okay so now when we what we have posted is now you have to click on this asset accounting here if you click on this you will come to, you can see the entry what i was talking about okay see this is the asset okay this is the technical clearing account now let's see this gl if you see this is the plant and machinery gl okay where do we get this from We have to go to the account determination, okay, where we have done the configuration for our assets. See, this is the GL which we have for acquisition, which we have given for plant and machinery and the asset class through account determination. This GL is been captured here. So if we see here, the asset is also there 4002. Okay, this asset has been acquired to so asset account debit to technical clearing account okay okay and now you can see here technical clearing account debit to vendor account so this 75 and 70 will get nullified okay technical clearing account so end of the day asset to vendor will be the entry okay this uh, technical clearing account is a concept introduced so that we don't have to do in s4 hana we don't have to do reconciliation okay this will avoid this reconciliation asset and fi okay that is the reason Now, I hope most of the people have understood. So normally, just an overview. First, we'll go to B60. Okay. Go to B60, put all the details, click on here, complex posting, give the vendor, give the asset. Okay. When we post, okay, the entry will be simultaneously in both the places. Okay. In asset accounting, it will take place in debit asset and credit technical clearing account here we have posted okay so asset to technical clearing to vendor but if you see technical clearing account gets nullified and asset to vendor has been posted now we will see the asset see here is the asset see capitalize on first acquisition everything has come okay after posting the acquisition if you see origin as a vendor, there is no vendor. Now vendor has also come. Okay. From whom you bought it. Depreciation area, depreciation start data has come. Okay. Now we will go to asset values. You can see the acquisition value depreciation has also been charged. I mean, it is showing the plan values. There is no posted values because we have not run the depreciation run. Okay. You can see here, if you click on this. It will take you to asset acquisition entry. Okay. See, it will give you an entire overview. See, this is then this one's it from maybe 60 we posted. This is come to the asset accounting posting. Okay. So now we can see the netbook value is also here. Okay, which is after depreciation, it will be this way. Posted values, everything is planned at the moment. We have not done the depreciation run. Okay, comparisons you can see here. Now we will go to the FB70. Okay, asset value date is there, nothing is there. Okay, now we will go to FB70. Now this is for the sale of asset. We have purchased that asset from the vendor. Now we are going to sell it. Okay. So, customer, we are going to sell it today. Okay. 
Let's say L. Now here we are going to give the sale of asset GL. Okay. So I'll be showing you which GL I'm talking about. Set sale text. We'll give her tax or put tax calculated fifteen thousand seventy. So this GL is basically given here sale of asset. See, we're going to buy this while buying. We take this acquisition GL as selling this GL, sale of asset. Okay. So now we click on environment. Okay, we have given the customer, then you give the sale of asset. Now click on complex posting. Complex posting, once click, click on double click on sale of asset. Okay, here you will find all the details. Click on asset retirement checkbox, enter. Asset was 4 lakh 2. Asset value date 26 2. 2024 click on complete retirement okay and simulate okay see now again do simulate so that you can see the taxes also save document has been posted. We'll see the document. See. Customer to sale of asset. Output tax. We'll go to asset accounting. So here you can see the sale of asset entire entry. Okay. Customer to sale is here. Okay. Then we have here asset asset entry okay which is credited this is the debit entry okay you can see which gl it is we get it here only we can show that one minute this is the sale of asset which you have used okay debit is the sale of asset okay debit is the mostly accumulation depreciation this will be profit is there that's the reason it is credit profit on sale and credit is your asset okay if you calculate, it comes to around <coughs> 15,000. The sum total actually. Okay, 15,000. So, we will show you this GL. See, as I told you, this is the accumulated depreciation GL. Okay. Whatever depreciation has been charged, it will show you here. So, one entry has been gone to your normal customer entry and one is at your asset account. So you can see the entry like this, okay? Debit, credit, also you can come to know. Here, accumulate depression is debit, sale of asset is debit, credit is your profit on sale and credit is your asset, okay? And customer to sale of asset is also offered simultaneously. You can see the header information if you want. Okay, tax code is here, amount has been posted. So whatever is the profit, now we'll go to the asset. Click on asset values. Okay, see, there is no value now. Only the depreciation which has been charged is here. Okay, see it is showing here below. Transaction type, everything. Retirement of current year with revenue. Okay.
you can see here if you click on this you'll get the details what is the entry posted the same thing which you saw in the asset accounting this one tab asset accounting tab which we saw is the same entry you can go go through the entry by clicking on this okay from here only you can go to the master data also if you want okay or you can come back to asset values both you can do okay here is the depreciation which was charged you can see here and the gain also it is showing here so this way you can post the asset purchase and sale with gst which we call it as complex posting okay through fb16 fb17 with gst if anyone is going working in any project or something they can use this if they want it okay they can suggest this to users some places uh people use this fb16 and fb70 because they use it in one go only because they don't want to give authorization issues are there maybe they don't want to use another module like asset accounting so you can use this also it's like a same thing you can use it so thank you please do like share and subscribe for more sap videos i hope you like this asset accounting video for more videos stay tuned thank you